Welcome back everyone to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. What I want to do today is give an update on my Wi-Fi system. Um, as you may have known or checked out my prior video on the Nighthawk Mesh uh, Wi-Fi 6 system uh, that I did a month or so ago. I'll put a link to it in the description below as well if you want to go back and watch it. But just a quick update on that system. I did find an issue and the issue is with devices not being able to see the network ID or the SSID. Um, started doing some research on the Netgear website and there is several people that have hit this issue. Um, all the recommendations that Netgear said would not fix the issue. One was my weather station which I use on my home automation system so I need to have it connected to Wi-Fi. And the second one was my wife's laptop it would not connect it would connect via a wired connection but it would not connect wirelessly it just would not see the network name as many scans as you would do so unfortunately i had to return the system and i went back on the google system so next i wanted to try out the latest netgear nighthawk without the mesh but just sticking on the wi-fi 6 and that had the same problem so I'm going to do kind of a different review this time. I'm not going to do individual ones. I'm going to compare the mesh network of the TP-Link Deco, which is not a Wi-Fi 6 system, with the Nighthawk Wi-Fi 6 system. And this is not, this will be a mesh against a non-mesh system. And just want to kind of do a comparison because as you know, I, I'm, I'm having to return the Nighthawk as well because it just will not, those two devices will not connect. And the TP-Link, everything works fine. It went right in just like my old Google system. I do have my office is hardwired to one of the pucks um, because it does allow for two connections. So you can put a hub on one to run multiple devices off of it if you want to do that. So that is a nice convenient feature that it has. So in this video, it's not going to be, you know, a lot of showing what the devices look like. I'm going to do a speed test at various places around my house just to show how the mesh kind of works and how it doesn't work in some instances. So let me just go ahead and kind of give you an overview of, of the different two systems and what's entailed. So in the Deco system, it basically comes with three pucks. I got this at Costco's and it's supposed to cover 6,500 square feet, which is plenty for most houses. And like I said, you can see here on the back, it has um, two ethernets, one USB and the power. And that's the same on all three. So one can act as the hub and the other ones act as satellites. So they're all three the same as far as setting up. Now for the Nighthawk, that one, um, as you can see here, this is like the, the bat wing. It looks like it's a starship that's going to fly off and um, <laughs> go into space. But here it's just a simple, there's nothing that you can adjust. Um, and it's, a, it's one of your basic routers. Basically has your um, Ethernet ports on the back. You know, it does have five and with the one LAN two USBs and uh, has a switch where you can turn the LEDs off that are on the top. They are not that bright, but uh, if you do want to turn it off. But everything that comes in the box here is just, you know, the power supply and Ethernet cable. And, and that's basically it for the two systems. I mean, like I said, they're pretty much identical except one's not a mesh and one is a mesh. So let's just jump into the numbers here because this is what uh, was very interesting to me because kind of the backstory is my house, I have the bonus room, which is the hardest room for me to get coverage in. And my router is set kind of off center of my house, which is a 2,300 square foot house. And my office is on the opposite end of the house and the bonus room is at the opposite end, but upstairs. So the bonus is kind of up and diagonal for my office. So my 
reasoning for mesh was to get the main uh, hub, which is kind of offset on one side of the house, to the office, and then the office would hopefully be closer to transmit it up. That was my goal. So let's just kind of do a side-by-side -side comparison here of one sitting in the closet and one with three pucks around the house. So first what I wanted to do was come in here and do a speed test. And as you can see, I did a normal speed test at the, the router and it was 28 megabits. So that's my starting point. So next, I wanted to go into the den and I went to one location and probably 10, 15 feet from the, the closet. And my net gear, I'll preface it, is, is the dotty, and the deco is the doodle. So as you can see here, here's the strength numbers, which you can see the net gear has a higher strength than the, the deco right off the bat, which is probably better antenna systems because it's not a mesh and it's trying to get your signal out there further. So doing the speed test, this was on my phone, same location, and 227, which was great. Upload speeds stay the same pretty much consistently. But going over to the Deco, still again, 214, which is great. It's pretty close to what my you know system speed is, 228. So no issues there. So my last, when well, my next test was, I wanted to go to the office. And like I said, I'll preface the office with, it is a hardwired from the main router to the puck of the deco system. So as you can see on this graph, of course, the deco is going to be a lot higher than the net gear because I'm sitting right beside, you know, within five feet of the, the router. Um, so that, of course, was to be expected. But when I went and did the speeds, um, you know, again, this is the uh, Nighthawk 143, which was respectable being 25 or so feet away from the router. And this was to be expected for the Deco, which was 214 because basically sitting right next to it. So no surprise on that one. And the next test is my dreaded bonus room. And again, I have a, the puck is sitting up there, but it is wireless. So it is getting a wireless signal to transmit. But of course, I am picking up the signal off of that puck, which is going to be extremely high. And of course, the net gear, you can see, is a lot lower. So comparison to the speed test, as you can see, I do have a pretty slow speed up there, which is the whole reason why I was going with the mesh and want the mesh is to fix this problem which 25 is okay, but it's just not enough to do streaming and a lot of work up there. And of course, when you go over to the Deco 149, perfect. So second, I wanted to do outside. Sitting on my patio, the, the Deco, the one thing that I've found is the signal drops in and out. It works, but it just doesn't work reliably and that is one of the, the major drawbacks on that one. So here you can see, of course, the Netgear has the strongest signal, followed up by the Deco. And with the speed test, you know, 173 respectable for the Netgear, and 67 on the, the, the Deco. And I'm starting to get some loss on that. And if I was looking at the meter actually on this app, and you can see the needle just jump around. It's like it would surge in and surge out. And that was kind of consistent on the, the Deco. And I went a little bit further out. This was in my backyard, probably 120 feet or so from the router itself. And of course, the Netgear has the highest, followed by the Deco coming in second, which was to be expected. I just think the antenna systems and those standalone units are going to be a lot better than in the mesh system because they're looking for the range, whereas the mesh is getting the range through numerous locations. So here is the speed test from the, the uh, Nighthawk and respectable 81, like I said, 100 something feet from the router. 
and with the deco 34 and you can see my loss is starting to go up even more on that so that was the the comparisons of of all the tests and here's a little graph if you want to stop and kind of look at the numbers for comparison and the location and I've got my notes here just so you can kind of see side by side what the numbers look like with the signal strength and the download speeds from the, each test. So anyway, you know, my conclusion is I don't understand what's going on with the Netgear systems, those Nighthawks. Uh, I had a the original Nighthawk and I had no issues with anything connecting to it. But these newer ones, for some reason, those two devices that I have just will not connect. I love the, the speed and I love the range of the Nighthawk. Um, and I would keep it if I could get everything to connect to it and probably just put an extender or something up in the bonus room to get the bonus room a little more usable. But for now, I'm going to have to stick with the TP-Link um, just because... I need all the devices to connect. Um, I may try to put an extender or move the office puck a little bit more to the back of the house. That way, the when I'm in the backyard or on my patio, maybe it will pick up the signal a little better and not have those dropouts. So um, that's kind of what I'm leaning toward right now. But I hope this was informative. Um, like I said, I uh, just happened to have both systems, so I said instead of doing unboxing, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison just so anyone can kind of get an idea of what might be the best system they want to look for. But anyway, I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you do, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, I will have links below. There are affiliate links to Amazon. If you do click on that and purchase something from Amazon, I do get a little kickback, which does help support my channel and allows me to buy more gadgets without my wife complaining so I can do some more reviews. But anyway, I appreciate you stopping by and checking out the video, and I hope you come back and check out my future ones. Thanks and have a great day. Thanks.